to Let's Play L.A. Noir, the studio secretary murder. Ooh. Oh, this is one hell of a case. I think I think this is my favorite case so far. At least my favorite homo uh, homicide case so far. Look, look, look what we have here. We have another woman, out late at night, drunk off her ass, just primed to be murdered. Looks like we're in a trade yard and, uh, oh. Lady, let up! Oh. oh no! Oh no! Of well, we were looking for shit. Yes, well, I'm aware that if oops. Here, keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It's like we're fighting all these murderers that fit the bill, but bodies keep turning up. A matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. Ooh. We've got, we've got stolen jewelry right off the bat. And, the and another body, of course. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside the railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Ugh. Right, Skipper. You know, it's hard to make jokes about the whole murder scene because when you think about it, it's 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 getting a little scary now when you think about it. Another body. A serial murderer out right. and about. It's it's like here we are yeah, solving all these murders, but the murders the don't stop. Wearing no clothes. It's like we're fighting a fucking hydra or something. It's it's it's, it's getting a little worrisome. You know, I kinda wanna see a Hydra serial murder case where you start with one murderer, then you get three, and then you get five, and then oh, it just God. keeps going. Oh, could you imagine? The heads keep coming back. Ah. Well, uh, let's make our way to the pawnbroker first. See if we can uh, get an idea about where this evidence is going. And you hear Rusty? Okay. So uh, I'm gonna try to be to a lot safer hot. now. Yeah, you know, you say that, you and you immediately run into somebody's car. Oh. I'm gonna try, and he ran into me. It was a little bit of a ding, but uh, we're gonna try to not crash so many cars this time. Let's let's keep the car deaths to a minimum here. You're cutting it very close. And let's have a little bit more fun with the stunts and stuff like that, and expert driving like this! Oh! <laughs> yeah, let's have some fun. Here we are at the pawnbroker, though. Buy, sell, and trade everything. Huh, you think I could buy a baby in here? You can also get loans in here? How can I help you boys? Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. I didn't ask for your name. something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? Fifty bucks? Try another number. Eighty bucks? Twenty? Try ten. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Somebody has to reimburse. I mean, that's bullshit. But we just want to see them. We're not actually buying them from him. Well, look at both of the rings placed in such a... They're so spaced out so I can point my finger and tell exactly which one I'm pointing at. Thank you for that, Revner. Does this mark mean anything? Oh, my. 22 karat gold? Gives you an idea of the quality. Oh, I thought it was 22,000. That's, that's how much it was. $22,000! Hit 1947. So, $22 million! Oh my hard. god! Usually traceable. Ooh. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. So Hartfield's Jewelry is where that one came from. What have you got on the guy? Oh good, time to call this innocent man a liar. Name, uh, Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street. No, he's giving us uh, an address for the guy. Give us a description of oh, the good, so we can call that person a liar. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Hmm. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. <laughs> Be in touch, Mr. Bremen. In this game, somebody had a forgettable face. What? They didn't have any mocap attached to it, just, you know, one face. <laughs> they took a picture of a face of a picture of a face, and then so, use that in the mocap. Let's head down to the rail yard. We've got an address, but there's one thing about that address. 
It's phony! What? It's a phony address! Oh, and that guy totally ran into you. I mean, he did, didn't watch your blinker. Of course. We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. Oh, no. Purpose having fun with us. Uh, damn it. All right. Uh, plan B. Uh, check every single building in the city. Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. The Dahlia letters are genuine. The man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also See? killed... See, so there's a possibility that the guy who's been stealing these rings and all this jewelry that, is the same one sending these letters. But is it the same one who's killing these women? Hmm. We're going to have to rely on this guy. Hmm. I assume this is the case that gives us a big reveal that's why you like it so much, or does it just do everything really well? Uh, you'll see. You'll see. Okay. Uh, I'll t tell you one thing, we're not going to be going around chasing buses all the time, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank Christ! That's not going to be happening, <laughs> Good. All right, well, the, the rail yard's down there. i got to get down there somehow, but there's no roads leading to it. And, of course, I can't ramp off everything as much as I please, so I've got to find... You gotta get a little creative about how to get over there. Let's. I thought I thought you were gonna say there's no pathway down there, so I'm gonna create my own. I will. This way. Oh. Aha. <laughs> See, totally safe. God, Look at me where? arriving safely. <laughs> you boys ready? Follow me. I probably should see, you know, you know grisly crime scene, skip to this part, yada yada, but, you know, it's, it's still kind of brutal, I'd say. Chain of command, though. The skipper will decide who needs to go. You gotta Got drive it? all the way over there? Yeah. Man. Ooh, there she is. Hey, this one's not naked. Still Art. bludgeoned over the head, good lord. Yeah, but at least she had gun. clothes on. The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure... Why would you call him that? <laughs> He's just a man! Something God, I have like to keep reminding myself. The, the 40s, the 40s, the 40s. We'll Things were different back then. Keep an eye on both of them. Well... Let's take a look at what we got here. This is a pretty uh, extensive crime scene this time around. We've got one guy here. Mm -hmm. We've got one guy there. We've got people taking pictures all the way out here. It's a lot of stuff going on. Never get into fights with ugly people. <laughs> they got nothing to lose. <laughs> so I shouldn't fight you is what I'm saying? Okay. Hello! What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. That's okay. profound, Ray. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks for right, the so info. Here's, here's our poor woman in question. White female, approximately 40 years yeah. of age. Lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Yeah, when she's not getting yeah, face bashed in. From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Another late night kill. Well, let's, uh, do what we do and mount the body. Well, just there from all the way to there is just not good. Uh, it's all of this. Here is where terrible. I don't want to look. Right here. So let's get closer to where we shouldn't look. Smell? Very good. There is the what? usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. So she may have been very strong smell of alcohol. Homeless of her own. The autopsy will tell, hmm. but I would assume that she was inebriated. I don't know if you've been I don't know if you can hear this, but uh the first time you turn the head, you can just hear the neck bones just crack crack crack. Ew, just, oh yeah. god. Ew, ew, gross. Well, nothing on this hand. But on the other. Let's see, nothing up her sleeve. Hey, oh. Another missing ring. Another missing ring. Another missing Another ring from her finger. Fingers recently. Can you be more exact? Like, can you not take off rings off of corpses without tearing the skin the off? I mean, is that possible? The body was in, a one or two hour window was the best I can do. Sheesh. Apparently they've been wearing these rings for a long time. It just fuses to the finger. Well, let's take a look at her personal effects here. See if we can get some more clues here. First up, we have a 
Keystone Film can Company. Go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Uh. Keystone Studio lot closed back in '41. <laughs> oh dear. She used to work for a film studio, and they're not around anymore. So she is uh, destitute. Mm. Down Dear Evelyn, I hope this letter finds you in a better way than many pen, a better way to exchange. Only got all money, but as a rich judge. And yeah, okay, a love letter. And, got da, it. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Someone was trying to get her to come home. Hmm. One half of a torn letter. Interesting. Well, what else we got here? We've got another book of matches for another bar she frequents. It's like, ladies, watch out if you go out drinking late at night all the time. You could end up murdered from this Jack the Ripper fellow, I guess? Black the Dahlia Ripper? I don't know. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's not even worth investigating. Hmm, Levine's Liquor Store. Hmm. Hmm. So we've got a bar, we've got a liquor store to investigate. Those are two possible leads here, but now we're looking for, uh... Let's talk to our two witnesses here. Let's talk to th the man. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Hello, Tell sir. Exactly Tell me, happened. at what point did you find this dead white woman? I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The oh. woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. So about 7.30, he finds the other guy on top of the body. Oh, no. It's like, I need to get the hell out of here. That, that fucking weirdo over here? This guy. This oh guy. My. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind. John. John Ferdinand. Don't you push you got it, John. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me. Uh, mm. yes. I was kissing. Ah! Oh. Yeah, I just shut up. No yeah. Like a man. Turn out your pockets for uh, All right. Oh, well, that's a thing. Great. That's a thing that's happening. What do you got? Oh god, why do you have that? Why do you have this? Classic Carmine. <sighs> what you the? say this is your favorite, huh? Yours for uh, no, I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! <laughs> Don't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well let's uh, <laughs> let's. Uh, you, uh, we need him alive. It wasn't like let's she interview needed. this fellow. What? That's what we say. He's not a man. He's a fellow, lion fellow. So you kill women and interfere with them. That's your mo, Jameson. I know some people might find what I do unusual. But I don't kill people. Not yet, you won't. How can you prove that I killed this woman? Well, I got proof right here, and... Well, uh, okay, I don't have anything. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? We can't put him away for kissing a corpse. Take any money. It wasn't anything it's paid. not illegal! No, but it's creepy, and we can do that. that. We can throw you to yourself for being creepy, so... <laughs> Apparently. You found the body? Yes, I did. I mean, they could be tampered with evidence, so they could probably find you pretty hard, pretty hefty. Aha! Uh -huh. We've got a different angle now. Send him away, boys! You're crazy! What makes you say I killed her? Because you were kissing her, and that means you killed her! <laughs> okay, nothing. You're off the hook. For now. Damn it! Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know there we go. How this is gonna look to a jury? Yeah, no shit. Jury? It's like, oh, I thought I could, I could take her out to dinner before uh, her there. dad came and picked her up. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. <laughs> easy, <laughs> Finbar. Easy. Put a leash on your partner there, Phelps. You'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine. Yeah, don't you get talk anymore. Shit into a cell. Just shut I'll up. Later. Sure, Russ. It's, maybe, it's uh, not helping your your case. May, may, maybe brush your teeth if you've been kissing dead people. I mean, I mean, the bacteria that's expanding from their bloated carcass. Just, I mean, and she had blood all over her. Just, you, you're not, you're not healthy. I'm go, trying, go away. I'm trying to think. He, Phelps, he's like a grown-up Haley Joel Osment from The Sixth Sense. But instead of seeing them, he goes, I kiss dead people. Beans liquor. Close the store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard if possible. Just a moment, 
detective. Okay, we got an address for Levine's liquor store where she was staying at. Thanks for your help. We've got a couple of leads to follow. We, we, we don't need to worry about that Ferdinand guy. He's... He, he, he's just a creepazoid. Mm-hmm. He's, he, he, he did not do the killing, but he, he did do the kissing, and, uh, well. Alright, let's go to the Vine's liquor store first. The Vine, the Fiend, Levinay, I don't know. Sounds great, and we need to get there in the most lovely way we can. The safest way possible, and I think the safest way would be on this railroad that does not have any cars on it. Yeah? Sounds good to me. I mean, this yeah. railroad car is specifically yeah, four cars, so let's go. Yeah. Want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists? He's got to really? get back on the road somehow. I guess that's okay. Then. Let's see. Armies can't fight yeah, without food. You spend all your there. money on weapons, but you still Perfect. have to have the will to fight. Fortunately. Whoa! Excuse me. China. <laughs> No, that, that was his fault. Um, uh, I saw say? him coming at you. He's like, there's oh, that Phelps guy. Country. Gotta take him out. Like and then uh, you're gonna, he failed. You're gonna find a lot of these wrecks are not my fault. Like, seriously. You know, man after, with the gun, uh, we gotta go after that guy. Oh, no. You know, you keep saying that these wrecks aren't your fault, but at this point, I kind of find that hard to believe, even though I'm Jesus seeing Phelps? it for myself. Not all of them are my fault. There we go. Like, that would not have been Ooh. my fault. So it yeah. drove through a red light, I think. Well, I'm, I'm allowed to. Do you have your sirens on? Well, they should know I'm a cop because I have the camera behind me. I'm the protagonist. They should know that I'm... They should know I'm a my cop. Way. I drive recklessly. They should know. Ever heard of a learning AI system? <laughs> yeah, it's only been in Left 4 Dead, nothing else. You know, uh, as you walk around. Oh God! There's people there. <laughs> she did not move. She jumped back in oh, front of me. God, she had a life to live, and you just extinguished it. How could oh. you? Well, as I was saying, as you walk around, people would be like, "Hey, isn't that the cop who got the big promotion and stopped the big case and all that?" They'll, they'll start talking about you and your accomplishments. So I'm thinking, why don't they talk about my driving? It's like, hey, isn't that the reckless cop who endangers each and every one of us every time he gets behind the wheel? I what love if, that guy. What if you're secretly working for the doctor of the town, and you are sending him patients to fix up, and you get like 50% of the cut? <laughs> I'd expect a higher star ranking. Watch where you're driving, you maniac. Well, no, it, it's still, you still have to be punished for it, but since you're a cop, you're let off the hook every now and again. So it's like, yeah, I'd say, you, you I'd say every time, because I've, uh, despite my performance, I still haven't. I haven't, I haven't. I've not been reprimanded once. That is true. In fact, true. I, I'm their golden boy still. I'm the oh. rising crusader in the Inquisition of Justice that plagues this city or whatever. They hold you high on a pedestal, but little do they know you're helping the doctor with his patience. Alright, here we go. Man with a gun. The gun man. God damn it! I said cough it up! I'm not gonna say it again. Say Pukaya! Come here! That's it, old man. I've had enough of your gibberish. Holy fuck! Yeah, okay. Oh my god, he just shut- he just up and killed- LAPD. What the- And he's fast, man. Why does every robber in LA run track? I thought he was just an angry man, not actually a- a robber. The fucking murderer is what he is now, and you know our policy on murderers. That's right, they killed someone so we can kill them. Open season! Right, where is he at? There? Okay, got him. <laughs> About to say, take this guy in, you'll get a buck for him. Take this guy out, I get 50 cents. Either way, I'm getting me a sody tonight. <laughs> it's like going out and hunting. Oh, look at that, is that a buck? Nah, nah, Phelps, I think that's a buck 50 right there. <laughs> but you uh, stayed up all night thinking about that, didn't you, Finbar? <laughs> yeah, oh. I tend to. During my uh, drinking binges, took me three fits of vodka, but I finally came up with that really <laughs> funny joke. 
It was hilarious, Phelps. Why hey, didn't you it's, laugh? It's 1947. You could have made that up now. That's our 10th street crime. We'll have Rusty drive us to the liquor store. It's like, hey, hey, I know the way from heart. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you blindfold me, I can get us there. <laughs> Even if you blindfold me, I still wouldn't drive any worse than you. <laughs> God, what have we turned these characters into? Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> It's high noon. LAPD, everybody get down! Oh. What can I do for I'll you? have five LAPD crates of your usual. Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of... The Rusty Evelyn. usual or the Phelps usual? Evelyn? Well, a little bit of both. You well, the Phelps Evelyn usual is just tap water. Robbins. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Mm -hmm. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Okay. So that's another bad husband warning. Great. Well, ex-husband. Sounds like he's been out of the picture for a while. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Uh, Phelps, you seem to have a, a swing in your step. You all right? So a little bit of a limp, running after that guy. I sprayed my ankle. But I probably shouldn't have let her. So it turns out she was holed up here. Gonna work out, was it? Oh. We'll take a look around. Let's see what we have here. Is guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was. Hmm. She was a studio secretary, remember? Hmm. She must have worked at this uh, Keystone Films place that shut down some years back. She worked in legal copyrights. Probably had a great job, and then they went under, probably because of the Depression, or, you know... Well, maybe not because of the Depression, but... Certainly, uh... Not as good as they used to, so... Yeah. She wasn't always such a loner. She lost her job, fell to drink, moved into a liquor store, Surrounded by a drink. Aristotle? Not the best environment. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her Hmm. So she hit on hard times, is what we're thinking here. What kind of name is this? It's Grosvenor, but it says Grosvenor. Grosvenor? So you, like, you're really pushing for that silent consonant there, man. Gross Venor. We got a bowling pin here, too, from Rawlings Bowlings. She loved to bowl. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Nah, she brought that pin home thinking it was a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> That's just what I was thinking, damn it. It's like, there's nothing in this! Why can't I drink from it? Oh, it's empty already? Oh, <laughs> I'll just keep the bottle to refill later. I live in a liquor store. <laughs> the alcoholic woman is dead. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you gotta bring reality back to me, man. Don't what? don't harsh my vibe, bro. We got reality to get back to. It's like, uh, can I borrow a, uh, a hot dog, maybe? I mean, borrow a hot just... dog. This is official police business. Hand me your best franks. They won't sell me a hot dog. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that was a little harsh, wasn't it? Well, why not me? G guy wouldn't give the cop a free hot dog, so I called him a son of a bitch and stormed off. <laughs> god damn. I'm definitely not getting a hot dog. <laughs> oh god! Whoops. Excuse me. Alright, well, now we're gonna head to the bar that she frequented. Ah. So I got a small story to tell you. It actually has to do with your lovely driving. Oh, do tell. Uh, the fact that uh, on my way home last night, it was dark, and uh, I, I keep looking at people, they're actually using the crosswalks. So I actually had to swerve out of the way for somebody who was crossing the street and didn't see my car. I had my <laughs> headlights on and everything. And they were crossing the street, and I was like, oh shit, that's a person. I had to swerve out of the way just because they were crossing in the middle of the street. 
Uh, don't worry, if you would have hit him, it like, would have cost you 50 bucks. Oh, that's true. Well, judging for inflation, Phelps, a little more. We need to ask you some questions mm -hmm. concerning Evelyn Maybe Summers. 75. I'm Walter Match. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? Mm. She did. Well as what, again? She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, pageant drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about stunk? it. Stunk? Who did she drink with? Stunk. Yeah, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. Stunk. Now that's a word. What are you doing about Evelyn Summers? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Slam your arms on the table. Now, this is McCaffrey? Grosvenor McCaffrey. This is the guy who lent her the Aristotle metaphysics Evelyn book. Evelyn Summers. Hmm. And why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Well, no need to shout, Phelps. Okay. I see your point. What do you mean, I sir? I just gave know. her a book. I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Aware of her? Aware. Yeah, I don't know my wife. I'm just aware of her. Aware? Aware did she go? I've had a few skirmishes. How about murder, McCaffrey? You ever been involved in a murder before? <laughs> Eight times, actually. The mark of Cain. You're Your best skirmish, it, sir. Detective. Sorry. My mistake. Okay, we can't accuse him of murder just yet. But he's still not telling the truth. Save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial Ooh. disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. So what? Because I want a lunch break, that means I'm a you communist? Barely knew <laughs> Whatever. Yes. Real, funny. true blooded Americans don't need a lunch break. You're lying, McCaffrey. Because I want to get paid on my you break. Evelyn, an extra dollar. And you have some I'm idea of what happened. sleeping with Stalin now. Is that what that? I hope you're holding aces. <laughs> well, no. If you're just wanting that extra dollar, you're just I inviting him into your house, maybe for a cup of tea, maybe. Still a comrade, though. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. Renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. <laughs> and then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't wow. take it. As if she could even comprehend any of it. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan. Well, yeah, I should pass on some of my books to my acolytes. I'm gonna have you read uh, Richard He's Dawkins' right. autobiography. Not oh, great. Thank you for the information. I mean, oh, great. <laughs> well, now we got a new guy. Tiernan. This Tiernan fellow <laughs> also <laughs> knew Evelyn Summers and was also around her on the night she was murdered. Another musical God, these names are really Rosa. weird. So now let's head to the bowling alley. All right, so we can get a fifth of bowling pin. <laughs> I like a shot of turkey, if you don't mind. <laughs> Wait, that's actually a thing. Shit. Uh, um, uh, I'd like a strike, please. Like a six pack? Hey, there we go. I like uh, some of your uh, hardest rum. 300 proof, if you might. Ah. Give me your best 710 split. <gasps> uh. Rawlings Bowling. Welcome to Rawlings Bowling. I mean, Rawlings Bowling. Welcome to the bowling alley. The bowling alley, yes. Oh, I could go for a game right now. I love bowling. I I'm not good at it in the slightest, but it's still fun. On your usual lane. I'm Detective Phelps. Homicide. Hello, you Detective Phelps. Murder? Homicide. What's your shoe size? <laughs> I'd like to think that this lady man. is extremely literal, you know so she probably does think Summers? homicide is his last like name. <laughs> oh, maybe it could be Jimmy's friend. Jimmy? James Tiernan. Yep, He's Tiernan. There's that name again. One day he introduced me. A lady after work stuck in her mind. She was much older. That sounds like Evelyn. Where can we find Jimmy Florence? 
He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. Thanks, man. Let's go. What? Oh, there he is. There he is. There he goes. There he goes. What? He's running? Hey. Why? Hey, get back. Get back here. Hey. Seriously? Oh, why would you make yourself so obvious? All right, easy. fine. Chase him down. All right, come on. Get back here, then. He sees the guys in hats, and all of a sudden, it's just like, oh, no. Oh, those guys are going to take chase. me away. Oh, man. There. Another right, car chase. We don't have a siren in this one, so we're going to have to use a civilian car. What are you waiting mm. for? Get after it. Let's go. We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These are flashy oh, cars man. to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast living individual with money to burn. So this is the 1947 equivalent of a, like a supercar. Because it is fast, tell you what. Yeah, it's really fast. Take him down. Take him down. Come on. Take him down. Right, try. Well, there goes his trunk. Take him down. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, man. Shoot him. Kill him. Destroy him. Do it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. More shots, let it do it. Come on! Hit it. Oh, we're trying, Rusty. Come I on! Would, I would pull over at this point, you know. This isn't the killer. It's we like I don't have a trunk. I don't have two tires. And, well, it, now you're oh, just well. being. Uh, oh no! He's gone. He's you're, gone. You're never gonna be able to catch him. Now you're just pissing me off, bro. <laughs> gonna run him off the road now. Time to take him down. <laughs> there. The hey, there about we go. Time. About use his back end like a ramp. Hands behind your head. I'm sorry, man. I thought you were my bookie. I didn't know you were the fuzz. <laughs> Let me go. You two look like mafia gangsters, you know. <laughs> we gotta do something about this. Oh, so we're just putting him away. Yep. Mission accomplished. The case is solved. What? No.